Exactly three years and one week ago, I accidentally came across this online course marketplace and I accidentally found out that people create online courses, list online courses for sale and generate thousands and thousands of dollars per month without ever being known. They were the silent killers, if you will, of content creation. All of the spotlight was on those big YouTubers, PewDiePie, Logan Paul, all of those guys. But as all of the drama was going on on YouTube and other social media platforms, there was this select amount of individuals that were making thousands of dollars every single month for years to come in the backstage. Now, don't get me wrong, many years passed until I realized that this was happening because I accidentally entered the space. But I can tell you that this decision of mine to actually start creating online courses and learning every single thing there is about this online course marketplace, how to succeed as an online course creator, was the best decision that I personally have taken in my entire life. This small decision of mine to start creating a very simple 30-minute course on camera lenses back in 2020 has led me three years later to be able to teach more than 25,000 people across all of my platforms. It has led me to create more than 14 different courses on topics that I'm really, really passionate about, and this doesn't even feel like work at this point. I was able to generate thousands and thousands of dollars every single month. So ladies and gentlemen, I think that it is time for those secrets that those people have used to generate thousands of dollars in the backstage with online courses to be revealed to the public. And this is exactly what we're doing in this video right here. In this video, I'm going to reveal to you the step-by-step -step process that you need to follow as a complete beginner with no experience whatsoever in the field in order to successfully create and sell an online course in the most modern and successful way possible. Trust me, if you follow this step-by-step -step process that I'm going to be analyzing in this video, your likelihood of success is extremely high. It is just a matter of following very basic steps. Anyone, and when I say anyone, I mean anyone can follow the steps in this video. You are not required to have any followers. You're not required to have any experience in videography. All I'm asking for you is to have a passion to teach and a willingness to invest some time and some of your energy. And to get more specific here, I'm gonna need you to invest one hour per day for the next seven days in order to create your first online course. So if you're not willing to invest an hour a day for the next seven days, then you might as well click away right now. For the rest of you, let's dive into the ultimate guide on how to create an online course in 2024. And arguably, this is the most important factor regarding if you're gonna make some money or a lot of money with your course. To give an example, the first course that I have ever created, I did zero topic research. I just started teaching about something that I had some idea about, and I made about $3 in the first month. One and a half years after that, I created my first course on ChatGPT and how to leverage ChatGPT to grow your YouTube channel. And this course has been generating me $250 every single month for two years now. So trust me when I tell you that choosing the correct topic is the foundation and the first stepping stone on creating a very, very successful course. So how do we choose the correct topic for an online course? If you asked me one or two or three months ago, I would probably tell you go to Google Trends to see what is trending right now or go to the YouTube search bar and perform some basic topic research. But there's actually an extremely easier way to come up with very successful topics for your online courses. And this way works every single time and has never failed me. Skillshare and Udemy, the two most famous online course marketplaces, actually suggest the topics that are of high demand so that course creators actually go ahead and create them. So you can literally go to the Skillshare class topic suggestion page and Skillshare itself will suggest you some topics that are very relevant and of very high demand and are worth creating go ahead and create one of those topics. So the smartest move to do here is to analyze Skillshare's high demand class topics and then Udemy's high demand class topics and try to find a topic that is both trending on Skillshare and Udemy. In this way, once we create this course and we start distributing this course into different online course marketplaces, it will be successful both on Skillshare and Udemy. So this is the modern way to brainstorm online course topics. You just gotta follow the suggestions of the giants, which at this point is Skillshare and Udemy. And those suggestions for class topics are completely free and they're out there. Now that we're done with topic research, it is time to get you geared up and set up everything you need to have in order to produce this course. And I don't want you to be scared here because the gear is extremely basic and extremely simple. Pretty much the most basic thing that you need to have is just a screen recording software and a laptop. If you want to create a more engaging course and potentially skyrocket your revenue even more, you can also record yourself 
going through the screen recording. So have this small box in the screen recording of you just talking to a camera. A complete online course can be 100% produced with a simple free screen recording software and the camera that you have on your smartphone. Trust me, things don't need to be complicated. You can 100% produce an online course completely for free. And this is actually what I would suggest you. I wouldn't suggest you just go out there and buy camera gear that costs thousands and thousands of dollars if you don't have any money coming in. Okay, once you start uploading your first courses and you start gaining revenue from those courses, then yes, sure, we can go ahead and buy lights, cameras, microphones, and all of that stuff. Now that we have our gear ready and set up, it is time to actually outline our course. And I have great news for you. Back in the day, outlining the course was the most time consuming part of this whole online course creation process. I remember sitting down in my desk and try to outline, try to brainstorm a course, how the curriculum would go for hours and hours. Now with the usage of artificial intelligence and chat GPT and some simple but very targeted prompts, you can actually outline your course extremely fast in less than five minutes. Trust me, outlining your course with artificial intelligence and ChatGPT is a complete game changer. It all comes down into using the best targeted prompts to give you the best result. And this is exactly what I did. So after outlining all of those courses that I have created, I came up with the absolute best ChatGPT prompts in order for you to outline your course flawlessly every single time and collected them all into a prompt list that you can find in the second link in the description. So if you're interested in saving a big amount of time in your online course creation process, I really encourage you to check out the second link in the description. Once you're done outlining a course, the most common lesson structure is to have 10 different lessons on a general topic that you're teaching. So now it is actually time to go ahead and script those 10 lessons. Now, if you have any experience or any idea regarding YouTube and scripting your videos, you know that it is an absolute pain in the ass. No one likes to type down what they're going to say. No one likes scripting their videos. And it is also extremely time consuming. Now, I know what you're thinking. Yes, we can script our videos with artificial intelligence. We can script our videos with ChatGPT. But I actually got a better offer for you. If you follow the advice that I'm going to give you, you will never need to script a lesson of your online course again. Yes, you heard me right. We're going to be creating those 10 lessons without scripting a single word for them. And again, I do not suggest you to ever script word by word. It takes a huge amount of time and energy and at the end of the day, it's just not worth it. So let's close this scripting chapter and I'm going to show you how to actually deliver the information of your lessons flawlessly every single time without a script. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is done with the next step of our online course creation process, which is creating PowerPoint presentations for our lessons. This is exactly how we're going to bypass our scripting process. Our script is going to be integrated in our PowerPoint presentation slides. So all you need to do, the most time consuming part of this whole online course creation process is that you need to create 10 PowerPoint presentations, okay, one PowerPoint presentation for each lesson that you're teaching in your course. And each one of those PowerPoint presentations is going to be anywhere from 10 to 20 slides long. And yes, you guessed correctly, we can also utilize the power of artificial intelligence to create our PowerPoint presentation slides and the content, okay, inside those slides. Keep in mind that if your course is more practical, for example, a tutorial on how to edit videos on Final Cut Pro, then you don't need to have 10 lessons of PowerPoint presentations. You can have the first three lessons, for example, being a PowerPoint presentation discussing some general principles around video editing and the next seven lessons being a hands-on editing tutorial, just a screen recording of your Final Cut Pro interface. So again, you can get creative. There are pretty much no rules regarding online course creation. I'm just giving you the blueprint for the fastest, easiest, and most painless way to achieve the best result. So now that we're done with creating our PowerPoint presentations for our lessons, it is time to start actually shooting the course. And keep in mind that this is going to be extremely easy. All you need to do is to open the PowerPoint presentation in your laptop's screen, launch your free video editing software. And if you feel fancy with it, you can also start recording yourself with your smartphone. And that's pretty much it. This is the part that you need to devote your time and invest your energy into this process. This is going to be the most 
time consuming if you will part but this is also the most fulfilling part you get to talk about things and analyze things that you're very passionate about and personally i find this very fulfilling for optimal results and to maximize the student engagement in your online course lessons i want you to include an introductory part on every single lesson in which you just go through the things that you're going to be analyzing in this lesson and also a conclusion at the end of each lesson in which you just highlight what you went through and transition smoothly to the next lesson. This will just help our students be more engaged with our content and of course we're going to be rewarded for high engagement in our courses by Skillshare, Udemy and other online course marketplaces. Now I want to note something extremely, extremely important regarding shooting your lessons. I want you to remember that in this online course world that you're entering right now, time is money. The bigger and more comprehensive your courses are, the more money you're going to make. Please take your time and cover all of the details around the topic that you're presenting in your online course. At the end of the day, this is why people buy online courses. They could search all of that stuff on YouTube, but they want to learn the small details. They're not there to get bored. They have paid for your course. So don't be afraid to spend 10 more minutes, 20 more minutes on a topic that is extremely important in your general subject. So congratulations, you have actually shot those 10 lessons. Are we ready to upload them now on Skillshare, Udemy and other online course marketplaces and just start generating money? Well, not yet. We're missing two very important steps. The first step is to create the introductory video of our course. And what is the introductory video of our course? The introductory video is pretty much a commercial that people see before they enroll in your course. And based on this commercial, they will either enroll in your course or just click away and find another course. So as you can imagine, your introductory video is of extreme importance. If your introductory video is not good, okay, if it's not a quality introductory video, then no one is going to enroll in your course. On the other hand, if you have an amazing introductory video, but your course isn't that good, people are going to enroll in your course. You will be generating money from this course. So creating a successful introductory video is one of the most important things in online course creation. A successful introductory video with huge course enrollments rates has four very specific goals. The first goal is for you to highlight the dream outcome of your target audience. Make them realize what they want to achieve. The second goal is for you to increase their perceived likelihood of achievement. You want to make them believe that it is easy for them to achieve their dream outcome that you highlighted earlier. Then you need to decrease their perception of the time needed to achieve this dream outcome. You want to make them think that it is extremely easy for them to do this. Finally, you want to also decrease the perception of effort and sacrifice that they need to make in order again to reach their dream outcome. Now, if you do this while lying, then you're just going to get bad reviews in your courses and your videos are going to tank down. So please make sure to cover those four points that we just discussed about highlighting their dream outcome, increasing their perceived likelihood of achievement, decreasing their perception of how much time it's going to get them to reach their dream outcome and also decrease their perception of how much effort they're going to need to reach there. But make sure to do this with ethical ways due to the fact that you are a great instructor. Do not lie to your students. If you check those four boxes correctly, trust me, a huge amount of people that will watch your introductory video will actually go ahead and enroll to your courses. Now I got some news for you. No one is going to watch your introductory video if they don't click in the thumbnail of your course. So as important it is to have a great introductory video, it is as much important to have a very engaging thumbnail, all right, that people are going to click on. The best tool for you to create a successful thumbnail for your online courses is Canva. Canva is extremely straightforward. It is an online tool, so you don't need to download anything. And it has all of the resources that you're going to need to create absolutely beautiful and engaging thumbnails. Make sure to keep the thumbnails simple and basic, all right? This is not YouTube. You do not need to clickbait your audience, okay, to click on your courses. You need to show them that you're a reliable teacher that will just take them from point A to point B. Please, this is very important. Do not overcomplicate your thumbnails. Okay, once you export them from Canva, you can also run them through another photo editing application. Just make them spike even more and make them appeal to more 
people. So make sure to edit your online course thumbnails in Canva. So now we got the 10 lessons ready. We got the introductory video ready. We got the thumbnail of our course ready. And it is time for the final piece of the puzzle before we upload our courses. And this piece is search engine optimizing the title, description and tags of our course. Why do we need to search engine optimize our courses? Well, this is very simple. This method of online course creation that we have been going through in this video right here works the best once our courses are distributed in online course marketplaces. Those online course marketplaces, okay, YouTube, Skillshare, Skill Success, Coursera, also LinkedIn courses have a key characteristic that combines all of them. They are highly search related. This means that people search for course topics and they enter Udemy, they enter Skillshare, and from there, Udemy suggests the courses under the topic that people search for. This is why our courses need to be optimized for the search algorithm. So when our students search for courses, our courses pop up first. Back in the day, search engine optimization was very hard to do. You didn't know which tools to trust. You didn't know which tools actually got the job done. But now with artificial intelligence and ChatGPT, you can actually have a great search engine optimization result in the minimal amount of time. Again, asking the correct questions to get the correct answers. Regarding online course creation, I have never seen anybody put all of the correct questions, all of the prompts into a list and distribute them out there. I am the first creator that does this and you can access my prompt list in the second link again in the description. So congratulations. Now your course is search engine optimized and it is time to distribute our course, to cross upload our course into all of those online course marketplaces. If I were you, I would always start with Skillshare. Skillshare is the fastest way to start generating money in this online course creation field. Once you've uploaded your course on Skillshare and you start generating some income from there, I would firstly cross upload my course on Udemy. Udemy is a great way to see how good your course is because you get direct feedback from your students and direct reviews from your students that are of higher volume than on Skillshare. And if you see that your course is successful both on Skillshare and Udemy, you can actually apply to cross upload your course into other online course marketplaces like Skill Success, Coursera and LinkedIn course service. If you're still watching this video right here, this means that you belong in a very small percentage of people that are actually dedicated and actually think of creating their first online course. And trust me, I can vouch that this is going to be one of the best decisions of your life. Now, if you're really serious about this, I invite you to click the first link in the description and have early access on a four hour guide that I have going through every single step that you need to take to successfully launch an online course, every single detail in less than seven days. So thank you very much. I'm going to see you in the next video.